Hey everybody, it's Kaylee. I am back with another what sold from last week video. This past week's sales were a little slow compared to the previous week, but I am still listing, still continuing on eBay and Poshmark consistency. Today I will be sharing with you my gross sales numbers and a breakdown of what sold on each platform. And I will also show you some highlighted sales of what I think are some of my best sales from last week. That way you guys can know some things to look out for while you are at your local thrift stores. Okay, so the sales that we are discussing this week and what these numbers are from are from November 8th through the 14th. That is a Sunday through a Saturday, and that is how I calculate my weeks. In total, I had a pretty slow week compared to the previous week. I sold a total of 40 items for a gross sales total, meaning before fees or any costs were taken out, of $1,403.79, making my average sale price $35.09, and my total cost of goods for everything that sold last week was $200.60. On eBay, I sold 25 items, and on Poshmark, I sold 15. I had no sales on other platforms. Gross sales on eBay were $870 and on Poshmark $533. And my average sale price was about $35 on both platforms, which I think is good. That's about where I want to be. Moving into some highlighted sales, this was a really interesting find. So if you look up this brand, Andrew Mark New York, um, a lot of their stuff does not have a high resale value or a good sell through rate, but in particular, the leather jackets do have a following. So I learned a lot by selling this jacket. I had a lot of interest. I had several people message me asking me about the line of this. So this had a cotton lining, and I guess there are two different ones. I guess there is this one with the cotton lining, and then there's also one that has um, kind of a shinier one with a diamond print on the inside. And I guess that both of those are sought after um, by different people. But I got a lot of questions regarding the lining of this. So that tells me that there are people that know all about this jacket and are seeking it out. So keep your eye out for Andrew Mark leather jackets. In particular, this one did sell really quickly, I think, because of the moto style of this. And the edges of this had some really nice, like, fading color details, which I think is really popular right now. So I had this one listed for $95, and it did sell at full price very quickly. This next one is a cashmere piece. I found a bunch of these cashmere sweaters in this brand, Mario Caldi, at one location, and I picked up all of them that did not have holes. So... These seem to be doing very well. I had some larger sizes. Again, since they were at the same place, I think they were probably from the same person. But these were 100% cashmere. And this, I believe, is the first one, maybe the second one that sold. Um, I think I got like five altogether. So this I had listed for $49.99, and it did end up selling at full price. Keep your eye out for this brand in cashmere pieces. This next one is a vintage shirt. I believe I picked this up um, as part of a vintage t-shirt box off of eBay. I was just kind of experimenting. And this was just a 1992 Strasburg Rail Railroad from Pennsylvania shirt. Um, I don't really know how to explain why these things sell, but I think if they have the date on them, and they have a good graphic, they will sell, regardless of the subject matter. So for all of these, I listed them at $49.99 and was accepting offers, just because I really didn't know what to price this at. Here is a close-up of the graphic, and then here is the dating, which is usually at the bottom of vintage graphic t-shirts. So someone sent me an offer for $35, and I went ahead and accepted. Next is this Michael Kors cowl neck sweater. I don't pick up a lot of Michael Kors because I think it's super oversaturated and I think the resale value has gone way, way down. But there are particular pieces that sell very often and that people snatch up when they become available. And this is one of those pieces. So as you can see, this is kind of a waffle knit sweater. It is very hunky and it was actually called the cowl neck 
chunky knit sweater when I looked up the style name. So this style in general without the brand seems to be doing well, but when you add the Michael Kors brand, it does even better. So I have this one listed at $39.99. I sent out offers to watchers and it ended up selling for $35.99. So I definitely wouldn't say to pick up all Michael Kors sweaters, but certain particular styles can do very well. This next one is by the brand Boston Traders. Not exactly a brand I would say to memorize, but I picked it up because it is kind of a shirt flannel jacket. And I've talked about this in several of my haul videos, but I like picking up shirt jackets during this time of the year. If I had more room, I probably would have put work, chore, and barn in the title because those are great keywords for something like this. But this was just a plaid Sherpa lined jacket and it was also hooded. This is a women's plus size, which I think also helped to sell it. And I have this listed at $35 and it did sell at full price. This next one is a dress from THML. This is a brand that is sometimes sold at Anthropology, So I made sure to check the RN number to make sure that it was a style sold at Anthropology. And this is a sweater dress. I thought it would do pretty well because of the fringe details and also the print pattern right here. And I have this listed for $29.99 and it did sell at full asking price. In general, I do like selling this brand. I try to look for more substantial pieces, but this brand does pretty well. This next one is a flannel shirt by the company Duluth Trading Company. And this brand does have a following. So if you come across it in a substantial piece, I say it's worth picking up. This was also a 2XL tall, which I think also helped to sell it. And of course, men's flannels at this time of the year are doing pretty well. So I have this listed at $29.99. I sent out offers swatchers and it ended up selling for $26.99. This is one of those sweaters that I picked up. Um, because it was a well-known brand plus a good material in merino wool. And in general, it was a really nice style and a pretty modern style. So this was a cardigan. It had some ribbing details, but it also had very high side slits. I was actually going to keep this to wear for myself, um, but as soon as I put it in my closet, it sold. And it sold on an offer sent to watchers for $26.99. Last item on eBay before we jump over to Poshmark that I wanted to show you was this pair of men's BKE jeans. These are the style Jake. And as I've said before, it's really, really easy to look up men's jeans because all the information is typically on the inside here. So these were the Jake straight leg jeans and men's jeans in this brand do very, very well. I have these listed at $44.09 and they did sell at full price. Moving on over to Poshmark. This was probably my favorite sale this week and I also posted this on my Instagram. So if you aren't on my Instagram, then this will look familiar to you. So sorry for showing it to you twice. But this is a vintage 1995 Jim Morrison from The Doors Lizard King shirt. And I was able to find comps on this exact shirt. So I was able to price it pretty fairly, I thought. This did have a little bit of wear. As you can see, it had some fading, which I made sure to mention, and the graphic also had some cracking. When it comes to vintage rare shirts, a lot of the times that wear doesn't matter because people just want the shirt. So I think I have this listed maybe around 150. I think it sold at 125. I can't really remember, but nonetheless, it ended up selling for $125. So keep your eyes out for vintage band tees. The next item I wanted to show you on Poshmark was this cool Leia Carbon cowl neck sweater dress. And I was able to find the style name of this by doing a quick Google search. The brand Cool is a really excellent brand to pick up in all of their pieces. This is their logo right here. So sometimes you might come across something and see that logo and that can indicate to you to pick it up. And then this is how you spell it. K-U-H-L. So this was just a sweater dress, which I thought was a substantial piece in this brand. And it ended up selling for $45. This is a pair of Miss Me jeans. I do not pick up most of the Miss Me jeans that I come across, 
mainly because my thrift store prices them at like $40, which is what you can purchase it for on eBay and Poshmark. Um, but when I do come across them and they are somewhat inexpensive and I think they are in a modern or a more rare style, I will pick them up because they can do well. I pick these up because patches on items of clothing seem to be pretty trendy. And this moving into fall, I thought the plaid was really on trend. So these are a pair of ankle skinny jeans with some patch details. And if you're not familiar with Miss Me, here is what it looks like. So these ended up selling for $45. I just recently got this listed. It is a Vans men's crew neck sweatshirt. I talk about this a lot, but I pick up a lot of men's sweatshirts if there is obvious branding, usually regardless of brand, if it's just a spell out. The sweatshirts seem to do well in all brands. I, of course, will do specific comps just to be sure, but Vans is definitely um, a brand worth getting in sweatshirts. So this one sold very quickly at $29. And these are just a pair of Lucky Brand booties. The style was called Brennan. And I like picking up Lucky Brand in boots or booties, particularly when they are actual leather. Most of the time, they do have the style name right on the inside, which makes them really easy to look up and decide if it's a style worth picking up. These did have a couple signs of wear, but they still ended up selling at $26. This is a men's plaid flannel shirts. I mentioned before, but plaid flannel shirts as well as shirt jackets do very well during this time of the year. So I'm always trying to find them in well-known brands. In this case, it is by L.L. Bean. And they really make some quality men's flannels. This was also a size extra, extra large, which I think helped to sell it. And this sold for $27. These are a pair of leggings by the brand The Upside. And this was a brand I just learned about. So I wanted to share this with you in case you have not heard of it. Here is the logo. And this is a higher end athletic line. You're not going to see a lot of it for resale, but I think that they do have a good following. So even though there are only a few pieces listed, they do seem to have a pretty good sell-through rate. So these ones ended up selling for $31. I sold this Calvin Klein Western denim trucker jacket. I picked it up because it was a decent brand and it had a Western style. And in general, denim jackets are pretty good sellers, at least for me. This one I waited on for a little bit, but it ended up selling at $40. It is also worth noting that because of the back detail and the front detail, that I made a collage as my cover photo so that people could see the entirety of the features. And the next item I wanted to show you was this Eddie Bauer women's washable suede hunting jacket. So the only reason I knew all of that information was because it was new with tags. So I put all of that into the title. This did retail for $178, another reason I picked it up, and it ended up selling for $55. If you come across this and it is pre-owned, I would say it was probably worth picking up because suede oftentimes is really hard to take care of. So if you have washable suede and it's in a good style and a well-known brand, it's pretty much a win-win and it is worth picking up. All right, guys, so that is it for what sold last week on eBay and Poshmark. Hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like what sold videos. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.